people. And with football officially back, let's take a look at the best plays of the week with the return of the Sensational Seven. <laughs> Despite losing their starting quarterback, the Paris Coyotes still have several weapons to be excited about this year, one of which is Jordan Melendez. On the punt return, he'll start one direction and cut back the other way to find daylight and take this kick all the way back for his team's second score of the game. Following a classic matchup from 2010, Quincy Notre Dame paid a visit to Hannibal on Friday night for its season opener. Nick Wyman showed everyone that he was more than just a good defender by rumbling in for two of the Raiders' three touchdowns, leading them to a seven-point win. Central Southeastern is the odds-on favorite to win the West Central Conference this year, and the season started out just right for the Panthers. Among a rabid offensive attack, Nathan Knuffman led the ground attack by racking up 166 yards of offense, most of which come on this 80-yard scramble to the house for six. The Sockies look to make some noise with our preseason player of the year on their squad in 2011, and he showed just how talented he is on Saturday. After a botched punt snap on fourth and long, quarterback Seth Petty will improvise and is able to find Dylan Butler downfield, who leaps and comes down with the grab, completing a very improbable first down. Matt Gunterman showed off his All-State chops in Pleasant Hill's season opener against Ralph. While his air attack was on target as usual, this tuck and run from five yards out gets his max effort as he stretches past the goal line into the end zone for six. Keokuk has been in search of improvement from the last few years, hoping to start things right against Central League. The offense impressed in every drive, but the defense did just as well. Led by Darian Sanders' interception, which he turns into six of the Chiefs' 63 points on the evening. There is still plenty of change around Clark County this season. Armed with a new coach this year, the Indians began 2011 against a familiar foe in Putnam County. While driving, Seth Williams will find Matt Loader, who hauls in the one-handed touchdown in order to help propel his team to a 1-0 start. <laughs> 